obesity, poverty, malnutrition. These are just some of the problems that plague today's youth. Since the year 2000, one in every three children in the U.S. have a lifetime risk of being diagnosed with diabetes. Additionally, one in every three children ages 2 to 19 are either classified as overweight or obese. Furthermore, over 16 million children who have a home are not properly nourished. Solution? The National School Lunch Program. In 1946, President Harry Truman signed the National School Lunch Act, a program that would soon help thousands of children get the sustenance they need to live healthy lives. We went to a rural, low-income school currently implementing the NSLP to look at the perspectives of different individuals. Why do we need the National School Lunch Program? From a teacher's perspective. And uh, that's primarily because we're a low-income school, and at the end of the day, uh, kids need food, they need nutrition in order to, to, for their brains to develop, in order for them to gain the knowledge that we're trying to give them as teachers. From an administrator's perspective. One of the fundamental goals of education is safety and basic human needs. So there's a, there's a pyramid out there, it's called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. And the ultimate goal in school is to get you guys, to get our students to what Maslow would say self-actualization, that is the apex of personal fulfillment. Well, to do that, fundamentally, your basic needs have to be met. You, you can't move through Maslow's hierarchy without having safety, shelter, and food. So fundamentally, to get us to a self-actualization stage, to get us to kind of the apex, our basic needs have to be met. So it's it would be unrealistic to think that our students are going to be able to perform academically, emotionally, socially without food. I mean, that's, that's just a foundation of, of, of starting from a positive standpoint at, during the day. So this, you know, you have to have, those, those needs have to be met. And so, you know, historically, if you've looked at public education, if those needs are not being met necessarily at home, then it's our obligation to to meet some of those needs. A lunch lady's perspective. I, as you can see, you know, I, they get a well-balanced meal uh, every day, and a lot of kids would go without food. A student's perspective. If I'm not hungry, I can always give my food to someone who um, isn't able to benefit from it, do, who doesn't have food during lunch. Um, I think that anyone who isn't on it should at least see if they can get it, because. It's very helpful. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about packing a lunch in the morning or, you know, or you at least know, like, after class you have a meal to eat so you're not hungry during the day and, you know, distracted during class. What is it? The National School Lunch Program is the nation's second largest food and nutrition assistance program. It provides over 28 million free or low-cost lunches to children on the average day. In addition, almost 60% of American children ages 5 to 18 use the program at least once a week. What does a lunch typically look like? A balanced meal has whole grain products, vegetables, fruit, and dairy products. How is this affecting students? I mean, our, our kids are happy, our kids are performing. Um, just by looking at the number of students we we serve in the morning for breakfast and we serve at lunch, I would say the program's working. And there you have it. The National School Lunch Program is working well at this school. And it'll work for your school too.